Okay, we're pulling the Nuke 26 triple zero off the trailer. Forklift and tractor suspension. We're gonna roll this sucker over and strip the bottom. Get into cosmetics. Turns out she sails great, so she's worth the effort. Happy owner. I love that boat. Okay, we got her on the ground easily. It's nice to have a forklift and a tractor handy. Got this Mongo tarp. We're just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and pull that winch off, take the jib cars off, and make some support, little high points on the deck. And we just decided we're just gonna roll over right on the ground. Bring the tarp under here and start sanding. A man with his balanced boat. We're ready to roll it on its upside down. Okay, that was incredibly easy. I want to pick this up and move that a little. Move the wedges in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I like it upside down. Looks like a uh, a fighter jet from this angle. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty neat looking. Wow, cool. This boat is pretty trippy. Yeah, this is going to be this will be a pretty easy job, relatively speaking. Seeing it upside down now. There's not a whole lot of area. No, there isn't. I think you bought way too much paint, buddy. Sorry. Uh, I bought way too much white. Yeah, sure. we're going to be painting lots of things. But if we have a bunch of extra primer, we'll just keep going just until keep we're done. Just keep going. I love it. Okay. A couple hours away. Nothing. Mm. Scissors to get the big plate. And forty grit, drop of this, and then I'll go and go and go and do not very fair, whoever did this, to turn the record in there, so we're going to get back in there. Finish building here, and throw this photo out there, and then you can go out here, and you can do it. Okay, it's probably a lot faster through the water. A man in his boat. With Anton having fun with the big orbital sanders that we used to uh, tear ratings in with. Got her all stripped. Uh, basically all we found is, it's like, uh, you know, she's too skinny and her ribs are sticking out. So there's these lines here. I'm not quite sure with the construction method of the boat. Well, these are standing proud a bit and there's hollows before and after these guys. So that are like ribs that are a little too skinny. Somebody tried to do fairing compound, but it's not enough. So I'm suggesting to Anton that he uh, put some, got some four ounce glass, start to build up on either side of these rib areas. And we got one little repair to do down here. Somebody filled it with a fairing crack. It's really not necessary. We'll strip it back, maybe one layer of glass. Cosmetic. What we really care about is uh, the wetted surface. And the water line's right about here. So we're just going to get it all fair, fair and fast. And then just go for cosmetic smooth everywhere else. And it all adds up to a good day's work. Stripping the Newark 26 Somersault. Again, this is the prototype, the first boat built from. These plans from Dick knew it, and these folks, uh, after this, the company picked it up and built, I think, somewhere around 15 of them as a production line. And uh, you see some video of a couple of them sailing over in Europe. And Anton sailed this boat now a couple of times and really liked how it performed, so he put some energy into making it fair and quick. What a great job rescuing this guy. Thanks to Anton for showing me a good day out at the ranch. I think it helps to get an invite if you show up with your big sanders. So I know you guys are waiting for some Raven's Wing updates, particularly where do we stand on that Tahatsu outboard motor rebuild. Uh, the piston rings that I needed finally showed up like a month late. They came down in Mexico. I've actually brought them home, so we'll get back on that. Captured a lot of video footage of the final Raven's Wing refit repairs and cleanups. So I'll be making some new videos in the coming couple weeks. Stay tuned for that. To see more about this boat, Triple Zero, take a look at Dan Moan's six-minute YouTube video, and I'll throw that link down below. It's about the uh, refit here of Triple Zero and her first launch on the Napa River in 2021.